Welcome to the muddy wild, where squelchy boots and happy shouts are the signs of a great day of learning. This isn't a clean, tidy zoo visit. It's a hands-on adventure where we dive into the muck to discover the fascinating world of herbivores and carnivores. Imagine watching a powerful herbivore like a water buffalo or rhino wallow in the mud to cool down and protect its skin, then tracking the stealthy prints of a tiger or wolf. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. African elephants are the biggest, while Asian elephants have smaller ears and rounder heads. Elephants live in savannas, forests, deserts, and swamps across Africa and Asia. Elephants are very strong. Gorillas are the largest primates in the world. Gorillas share about 98% of their DNA with humans making them one of our closest relatives. Gorillas are incredibly strong, up to 10 times stronger than an average human. Gorillas are mostly herbivores. They eat leaves, stems, fruit, and bamboo shoots. Donkeys are known for their strength and endurance. They can carry heavy loads and travel long distances, even in hot and dry deserts. Donkeys have large ears that can hear sounds up to 60 kilometers, 37 miles away in the desert. Their big ears also help them stay cool by releasing heat. Bulls belong to the same species as cows, Bos taurus. Bulls are known for their muscular build, strength, and aggression. Bulls can weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 2,400 pounds, 450 to 1,100 kilograms, depending on the breed. Hippos spend about 16 hours a day submerged in water to keep their massive bodies cool under the hot African sun. Hippos secrete a reddish, oily substance from their skin. This blood sweat acts as a potent moisturizer, antiseptic, and sunblock. Reindeer are one of the few deer species to have been widely domesticated, primarily by the Sami people of Northern Europe and other Arctic indigenous groups. Reindeer are surprisingly vocal. They make a variety of grunts and snorts and a unique clicking sound. Dogs are descendants of wolves and were the first animals domesticated by humans. Dogs have been living with humans for over 15,000 years. Dogs belong to the Canidae family, which also includes wolves, foxes, and coyotes. Dogs have an incredible sense of smell. White tigers aren't a separate species. They are Bengal tigers with a special color caused by a rare genetic change. White tigers can grow slightly bigger and stronger than regular Bengal tigers. White tigers use their sharp eyesight and stealth to sneak up on prey like deer and wild pigs.
Camels are known as the ships of the desert because they travel easily across sand. A camel's hump stores fat, not water. It's used for energy when food is scarce. Camels can drink up to 40 gallons, 150 liters of water in one go. Goats are among the oldest domesticated animals, raised by humans for over 10,000 years. Goats belong to the same family as sheep, called bovidae. Goats are raised for milk, meat, wool, and companionship. Goats have rectangular pupils. Lions spend up to 20 hours a day resting or sleeping. They're most active at night, nocturnal, when it's cooler for hunting. Lion cubs are born blind and helpless, with faint spots that fade as they grow. Lions live mostly in Africa, in savannas, Hyenas are often thought of as scavengers, but they're actually skilled hunters too. In fact, spotted hyenas hunt up to 70 to 80 percent of their food themselves. Hyenas have one of the strongest bite forces of any mammal, strong enough to crush bones. Roosters are known for their distinctive crowing, which usually happens at dawn but can occur any time of day. Roosters are very protective of their flock and will fight predators or other roosters to defend their hens. Roosters play an important role in farm ecosystems Polar bear is the largest bear species and the largest land carnivore on Earth. A large male can weigh as much as 10 grown men. Polar bear can consume over 100 pounds, 45 kilograms of blubber in one sitting. Monkeys are highly intelligent and use tools, such as sticks, to catch insects or rocks to crack nuts. Monkeys communicate with facial expressions, body language, and sounds. Some species even groom each other to strengthen friendships and remove bugs. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. African elephants are the biggest, while Asian elephants have smaller ears and rounder heads. Elephants live in savannas, forests, deserts, and swamps across Africa and Asia. Elephants are very strong, Ducks are aquatic birds that live near ponds, lakes, rivers, and marshes. They belong to the Anatidae family, which also includes geese and swans. Ducks have a special oil gland near their tails. This keeps them dry and warm even when swimming all day. Insects, snails, and small fish. Flamingos belong to the Phenacopteridae family. Flamingos are very social. They live in large colonies that can include thousands of birds. 
Flamingos build cone-shaped mud nests to keep their eggs safe from flooding. Flamingo chicks are born gray or white. Sheep are domesticated mammals that have been raised by humans for thousands of years. Sheep belong to the same family as goats, called bovidae. A sheep's body is covered in thick wool, which keeps them warm in cold weather. Sheep have horizontal pupils. Horses have lived on Earth for over 50 million years. Horses belong to the Equidae family, along with zebras and donkeys. Horses usually live for 25 to 30 years, but some live even longer. Cows are mammals, which means they give birth to live babies and produce milk to feed them. A healthy dairy cow can produce over 2025 20, liters, 6 gallons of milk per day. Giraffes were long thought to be mostly silent. However, recent research suggests they hum to each other, primarily at night and they also communicate using snorts, grunts, and moans. Giraffes have the shortest sleep requirement of any mammal. Rhinos have been on Earth for over 50 million years. Some of their extinct ancestors were woolly, and lived during the Ice Age, and one species. Rhino horn is illegally trafficked for use in traditional medicine, despite having no proven medicinal value, and for ornamental dagger handles. The mud isn't just fun. It's the perfect classroom to see how these animals truly live, interact, and survive. As we explore, we'll uncover the amazing differences between plant eaters and meat eaters, starting with the clues they leave behind in the soft earth.